How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Crypto Clout. I am your host, Phase Crypto, and I'd like to start off this video um, with this uh, interesting tweet we've got here. I think that it's a good uh, way to prefix uh, what we're going to be discussing overall uh, in these hollow chain videos. And of course, this is Ethereum versus hollow. And uh, on, you know, of course, uh, we've got hollow with an open web browser. Uh, you know, go to example.com, register, log in. Uh, use the DApp for free, whereas uh, when it comes down to Ethereum, we've got, um, you know, go to Chrome, uh, Firefox store, uh, search uh, MetaMask, install current MetaMask, uh, create account, save uh, seed phase, go to an exchange, transfer AUD, then uh, wait three days, go back to exchange. I mean, you, you sort of get the idea, um, you know, repeat from number seven when funds run out, uh, and of course, uh, go to exchange and all these other things things but when we want to go to um, you know, the closed alpha of uh, hollow chain um, and it, it is very interesting to see uh, how you know they've uh, compacted all these things together uh, and of course uh, you know made it more ex you know expandable um, and I think that that's ultimately going to be playing into um, hollow chains uh, favor um, in the long term and I think that when we want to look at uh, I mean of course I'm not going to sit here I mean ethereum is a major cryptocurrency blue chip uh, and of course a big player in the space and I don't see ethereum going anywhere but this is an example of a smaller crypto an altcoin being able to really get a slice of the pie and play in the big leagues and I think hollow will inevitably prove itself to be a worthy crypto in that same sense of the definition and of course as things continue to progress and move forward from this stage move, moving onwards uh, I think that we will be be seeing uh, you know a, a big uh, surgence of stuff uh, you know like basic attention token um, I am currently in, in fact using the brave browser I'm not uh, you know being compensated for using I'm not uh, trying to uh, make an advertisement for the brave I'm using it because it works uh, and I think that that's ultimately one of the um, you know, one of the key uh, factors when it comes down to it, people are going to use the uh, you know aspects of these technologies that make their lives more simple. Uh, and I think that when we want to look at Hollow Chain, that uh, we want to think about the vision of the internet that Hollow Chain is uh, able to work around uh, and work within. It, it is very interesting uh, in that same sense. Uh, and I think that as things continue to move forward, we see uh, a lot of the different aspects of the uh, basic infrastructure and of course blockchain in and of itself uh, making its mark on uh, you know the totality of how we can expect uh, the you know functionality of a lot of different things uh, I think that it will be very interesting to see uh, now of course as we do consider you know uh, Bitcoin was of course the introduction of cryptocurrency the idea of like uh, digital gold uh, and then of course ethereum with its smart contracts and uh, still uh, in a large sense I would say uh, you know the Stone Age uh, in comparison to uh, you know potential uh, that is of course made available uh, when we want to look at uh, what the actual functionality of these things can look like when uh, you know we see stuff like uh, hollow chain rising up you know really leveraging the potential made available with peer-to-peer -peer, um, you know agent centric and um, you know just I think when we think about the internet in its current stage um, it's a lot like um, back before the internet um, is a good example. I mean, sort of a pre-internet sort of way. You know, when you also want to consider how much the um, look of the internet and the actual uh, functionality of what we uh, expect the internet to do has in fact changed much over time as well. Uh, I would say that we could only expect that to increase uh, 10x, uh, you know, if anything more, uh, you know, as things continue to move forward. Uh, and I think that the uh, further encroachment of internet in to just the day-to-day -day things is going to really be a interesting boost for uh, you know cryptos like hollow chain that do stand to benefit the most as we uh, really shake off the old paradigm and we're moving forward uh, and I think that it is going to be interesting I, mean, I think one thing that um, hollow chain um, you know a box that if they can get checked off is going to be more um, widely used uh, involves basically uh, more um, instant 
institutions and a lot of uh, you know these different businesses that are aiming to get or, you know curb uh, the uh, competition and I think that this is sort of the same start uh, you know the same general idea of what we can expect uh, this sort of paradigm shift to look like uh, and of course it is going to be very interesting to see how uh, you know the different movements and uh, the current price of uh, Bitcoin um, you now are going to be uh, you know lending themselves uh, in a large sense uh, to see how we get uh, the future you know really being um, you know, minted in real time as far as uh, you know digital uh, currencies are concerned um, now of course I would like to dedicate the last half of this video to discussing Bitcoin um, and what we can expect to see from Bitcoin um, as far as uh, the recent price action because it's very difficult to talk about the price of altcoins without actually talking about Bitcoin when in fact discussing any particular altcoin and does uh, really lend itself to a uh, roundabout discussion about Bitcoin um, you sort of have to talk about Satoshi uh, in that same sentence without uh, you know tripping over your words I guess um, but yeah I think that right now we are um, at a very interesting point I think that we're sort of going to be determining whether we continue with uh, the, the you know whether all this right here was a uh, bull flag uh, or whether we uh, will capitulate down and uh, sort of uh, go back, I, you know, whether this was all just a, a pump and we'll see sort of a textbook example of, uh, you know, capitulation play out. Um, I mean, we'll be doing a more in-depth analysis, uh, you know, technical analysis and all those other things uh, that you guys love and have been uh, recommending that we do on this channel uh, in the live stream. So, of course, make sure that you guys are subscribed, um, you know, make sure that you guys are, uh, you know, staying up to date. Of course, follow us on Twitter. Um, you know, of course, that is uh, CryptoTuber on Twitter. Um, you know, always uh, going to be staying on there and answering your questions and, you um, you know, of course, uh, playing uh, this YouTube game as well as the crypto chart. So yeah, let's get this crypto. Um, some interesting articles right here. We've got uh, you know Swift spokesman calls cryptocurrency useless and unstable, um, which is kind of funny. Um, now I'm sure in a couple months we'll be seeing uh, this uh, entity, uh, you know, uh, trying to get into the cryptocurrency game. It tends to be uh, the modus operandum of these uh, entities as they. They will bash cryptocurrency with one hand and then in the other uh, tr attempt to make their own uh, competitor because you know, and I think that this any publicity is a sign that it's uh, threatening to them. So, you know, the society of uh, for worldwide you know, interbank financial telecommunications, SWIFT has taken aim at cryptocurrencies in a recent statement in a briefing in London. One of its spokesmen criticized the entire industry as being useless um, with every new technology breakthrough comes those who are skeptical of its promise uh, the horse and buggy for example saw no future in the automobile however often those that have uh, vested interest in the status quo have a distorted opinion of what's possible so when central banks start outright criticizing cryptocurrencies as useless you know they are starting to feel afraid uh, i think that that's a funny um you know way to uh sort of um tie in i think all these different themes i mean in particular this video um i think it is very interesting and i'm sure a lot of people who are um you know moon boys for ethereum um probably do feel much the same way about um upcoming altcoins in particular uh, you know just to you know plug a uh, hollow chain um you know i think in that same uh, context so i mean it will be interesting to see how um a lot of these different things um you know continue to play out um you know you know, what does your list of uh, altcoins uh, for altcoin season look like? Um, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, hollow chain is definitely an interesting one. I mean, you, know, you could fill up a pretty fat bag, uh, I mean, at the pr current price. But of course, remember, um, this video is for entertainment, educational purposes only. You know, of course, uh, this video is not financial advice. You know, I'm not your financial advisor. So make sure that you guys go and do your own research when it comes down to these things. You're always responsible for your own research um, in the space. But overall, I do have a bullish perspective on hollow chain. Um, and I think that it could, in fact, be the new Ethereum um, in, in the long term, you know, the Ethereum killer. Um, but that's all just my perspective on this. Um, but all that being said, yeah, make sure that you guys comment down below, letting us know what you think. Um, you know, smash that like button it all helps and i will see you guys in the next video have a good one and let's get this crypto